Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me a very interesting family car, economical car that in my opinion have one of the best hybrid system that you can buy it today on the market and this is the new Nissan X-Trail e-Power e-Force 2022-2023 and in this video I will make the full review interior exterior and at the end of this video you will find out everything about this new Nissan X-Trail. First of all before we go forward if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Auto House Heart in Langenthal they are super nice if you want to buy a test drive see the car uh, you have question and you are in Switzerland check them out guys really really nice people I will leave also the link in the description if you want to uh, connect them now before we start the review guys I want to give you some technical data about the car and then we will start the review first of all I want to tell you that in my opinion if I will buy tomorrow a hybrid car definitely will be this system and I will try to explain you in this video why and I think this hybrid system and the hybrid system from Honda Civic and this new hybrid system that works different than the conventional hybrid system I find it much more practical and I will explain you also why first of all I want to tell you that the car come with this e-force four-wheel drive system and that mean the car comes with two electric motors, one in the front, one on the rear, and also it comes with a petrol engine, 1.5 liter. This is a special petrol engine, 1.5 liter VCT from ePower. That means it's a three cylinder engine, and that means this engine will never drive directly the wheels. Only the electric motors drive the wheels. The petrol engine will act like a generator. It's like you're having an electric car, you're driving silent and smooth with the electric motors, but the IC engine will send the energy into the battery and then from the battery will go to the wheels. The car come with a 2.1 kilowatt hour battery. It's a very small battery. Actually, it's super, super small. And from that battery, the energy will go to the wheels. So it's working in two or three stages the petrol engine when the car will need less energy like when you're standing when the climatic system is on or stuff like that or when you're cruising and you need less power the engine will be super silent will be on the first stage if you accelerate and you ask more energy more power from the car the engine will go to the next stage kind of second stage where it's a little bit more noisy uh, but noisy inside the cabin if you can see the test drive because i have two videos and i noticed that it's super good the sound insulation is great and between the engine and the cabin it's really really good sound insulation so you cannot hear it so much it's like a kind of a cvt sound where the engine it's revving a little bit higher and then after a while it will stop and then go again and then go a little bit lower but when you ask for power you will hear that kind of a cvt sound from the engine where the engine will rev a little bit higher i i try to explain you as good as possible so sorry guys it's, it's quite complicated to explain you this system but keep in mind if you want to drive an electric car and you are not ready yet uh, to go full electric this might be the best system for you and and i find this system also very reliable in time because you know the petrol engine will never work so hard to send the power and it will always work uh, and have less friction than the normal one so it will always work on the on the same parameters and i think it will last longer in this way and also you will enjoy much much more the riding the silent riding and the smooth riding of the car so this is the perfect perfect combination if you want to have an electric car that it's powered by a petrol engine it's like you're having in the trunk a generator and you're driving an electric car so it's kind of the same thing here and also the transition between acceleration and the transition between this sound it's it's so silent that you barely notice inside the car so check out the test drive guys if you want to uh, see more details about driving and how this system work i hope i explain you as good as i can so this is the system that we have here and we have tegna plus i have with me tegna plus is kind of the top end version that you can get it with four wheel drive this e-force with uh, e-power 
and the power of the car it's around 214 horsepower and the price of the car full option with all those systems it's 58,890 francs here in Switzerland at least at Auto Heart in Langenthal but in your country the price might be different less or more depending on which country you are so I will show you in this video guys all the options of the car and I will show you with what this car come optional and with what this car come in this Tecna Plus and I was super impressed when I see the car because it has so many comfort features and safety features and the quality materials are just super super nice and premium I was impressed but I will show you as we go in the video let me give you more technical data about the car and then we will start the review exterior interior and I try to show you all the details so first of all as I said before the power of the car with two uh, electric motors 213 horsepower 525 newton meters comes with this 1.5 liter petrol engine three cylinders in line that act like a generator also the boot space 575 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1396 liters uh, with this five seats combination uh, one speed automatic transmission the consumption of the car around 6.3 liters depend how you drive of course and depend on many factors now 0 to 100 the car can do in 7 seconds the maximum speed of the car 180 km per hour the car come with a gross battery capacity of 2.1 kilowatt hour 200 volt lithium battery the fuel tank capacity 55 liters the turning circle of the car 11.1 meter also the front suspension independent McPherson suspension the rear suspension independent multi-link suspensions it comes with ventilated brake disc on the front and ventilated brake disc on the rear and 19 inch rims as standard with this Tegna Plus I will show you when we go outside but also you can go optional up to 20 inch rims now guys those are the most important information about the car also I will have on the channel a video separate video with this new multimedia system and a separate video with Apple CarPlay on this new multimedia system that Nissan bring on the newest cars. Now guys, let's start the review exterior, interior, and in the end, as always, we will make the conclusion. This is the key, very nice, very light key. I like how cute is this Nissan logo here and how light the key is. Um, I like it very much. What you can do with the key, first of all, of course, you can lock the car and unlock the car. It comes with electric folding mirrors, but also you have the options to put your finger here to lock the car or to to just put your hand here and unlock it directly like that if you have the key with you so it comes with keyless entrance now another thing that you can do with the key is that you can open the trunk all you have to do is just press the button for three seconds you can release it and the trunk will open automatically for you and also you can of course close it and I like that very much that you don't have to hold uh, the button all the time like in other cars so this is what you can do with the key I want to turn on the lights and then we will talk a little bit about the exterior design first of all I want to tell you that the car look um, nice quite attractive I should say it's not my favorite front design of the car but overall the back and uh, the way it looks it looks quite nicer I should say it looks nicer than uh, Nissan Qashqai in my opinion so if I would change if I would have to choose uh, one of them I will definitely go with this X-Trail so in my opinion quite nice design is not something futuristic something crazy that you will say wow what car is this it's quite classic quite stable and it gives you that feeling uh, that you you know the car already you know it's not something that you say oh this is a new car what kind of car is this or stuff like that but it doesn't matter because from 100 times I will always choose a classic look in terms of uh, looking design and to have a better engine a better system like this Nissan X-Trail have because in my opinion this hybrid system it's probably one of the best that you can get on the market today and this is my opinion now of course when I'm talking about the the modern looking I'm also taking into consideration the lights where you can see the lights come with those uh, halogen lights and it doesn't come with an LED with something futuristic and crazy but as I said guys I will always trade the looking the good looking with the the good LED lights for for a great uh, engine so 
the trade is fair here and the price is relatively good for what this car offers and you will see in this video uh, as well but overall it's a nice looking car and I also like the back design. I like very much the way it looks uh, from this angle, uh, from the side, the car look just wonderful. And with those 19 inch rims, I think the, the car is perfect in this combination uh, because 19 inch look also nice. They are also economical, practical, and I think they are great also over the bumps, for example. From the front end, I can complain about the lights because here we really have LED lights and you can see the turning signals are LED, the high beam, low beam, full LED, and even the fog lamps down there, they are full LED lights. So, the only only halogen lights that we have on the exterior uh, are on the back even here on the mirror on the side we have LED lights on the turning signals but here in the back as you can see the turning signals it's bulb light the reverse light bulb light this is the fog lamp it's LED this is also LED on the tail lights uh, and the other halogen light that we have are here on the number plate so you can see on the number plate we have again this yellow halogen light uh, also here is the reverse camera um, that they put it in the back but overall other than these two elements uh, everything else it's LED even the brake up here it's an LED light but yeah I think the more I look at the car uh, the more I like it to be honest it's it, it looks quite powerful it looks quite big and anyway it's much more beautiful than the previous versions uh, in terms of previous version it's it's much more beautiful here on the roof you have some roof rails and surprisingly they are in the same color as the car and they blend in super nice there I didn't see that on many cars but I find it quite interesting also the radio antenna it's nice and modern small very nice integrated the roof spoiler look gorgeous I mean it's bloody gorgeous for an SUV and it has these uh, aggressive lines sharp edges and you can see the design here look lovely look really really sporty and stand out with the car that's why I tell you the back of the car look phenomenal I think if they will put some LEDs in in place of this one the car will look just ooh really nice from the back end anyway the roof spoiler i love the way it looks tinted windows on the back you have this wiper here then tinted windows also on the side around the windows you have kind of this uh, black uh, plastic on the down part and on the upper part you have some chrome you can see the chrome on the upper side big windows i will show you also the visibility when you go inside big huge mirrors you will see the visibility when we go inside also you can see the test drive on the channel it's already there probably now the blind spot technology it's in corner here you have a light a lady light for turning signals you have reverse camera 360 degrees camera we will see when we go inside big mirrors good visibility here also i noticed that the a pillars are also painted in black the same as the b pillar and the c pillar there a big windscreen you will see from inside how good visibility we have here we have a huge huge windscreen also there are the camera and sensors for light and raining and also the camera for reading the traffic speed limit for lane assist and all that safety features because the car come with a cruise control a very good autopilot cruise control i did test it in the test drive video and was really good it's working really really fine one of the best on the market these days the front design is kind of classic for the nissan it looks simple it's not something that i can say i i love the look of it the back i like it very much the front i think it can look even better but it's it's relatively fine it doesn't matter too much now here we have led lights i love the fact that the car come with led lights we have some chrome elements here chrome elements insertion there the grill look just fine it's in glossy uh, black plastic we have the nissan logo i like very much this nissan logo the new one look gorgeous behind the logo you have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features a front camera here for 360 degrees camera some air intakes for the radiator down here you have another air intake and also down here i noticed that we have some pedals inside there that will open and close depend on the engine when the engine need to be cooled down it will stay open when it's too cold then we'll close so yeah 
This is also great technology. Down here, another chrome on the down part of the bumper. I like this bumper very much. And I like the fact that the car comes with LED lights on the uh, fog lamps, six parking sensors. I like that very much. Again, a good element here. Here it's LED everywhere also for high bin and low bin. I love that. And also some air intakes here, huge air intakes. You can see they are very useful for the aerodynamic of the car, the air will go here inside and it will go outside here around the wheel. So great, great elements, aerodynamic elements for consumption. Those are very useful. Six parking sensors in the front. I like something, some, some elements very, very much. And one of these elements are those plastics here, are not just normal as you see it in other cars, are also a little bit out, extended outside. You can see like two centimeters outside and this will protect the paint of the car. They are incredible. In long times, it will protect the paint so you don't have to repaint it when you go off road, when it's winter, when it's um, salt on the street. You don't have to worry about the rust in this area. So you can see those plastic, it's extended everywhere and even under the doors. And this is great when you open the door, if you hit something, you hit it with that plastic. In the back, the same story, the same plastic around here and the same extended. And also when you open the door here in the back, you have this plastic here to protect it. Great job. So from this point of view, I like it. And I think Nissan did a great job with this X-Trail. No wonder why so many people are really interested to buy it and to see it. Uh, now, after I test it and I review it in detail, I understand more and more why this car is so good and why so many people uh, are looking for it. Now, six parking sensors in the back. I like that. Also very practical and big, stable uh, bumper in the back here with some black uh, matte plastic and also it's extended a little bit in the back. I like that very much. This is practical. Some chrome design insertion, some matte uh, gray here, some light reflectors. It looks also quite nice. This bumper in the back, it looks really, really cool. Anyway, the back in general look great. For me, uh, I like it very much. I like those lines here. Look at this, how nice they, they, they designed this line here. Really interesting, really something new for me. E-Power, so you know, this is uh, this new hybrid system. Then E-Force, you know that this is four-wheel drive system with two electric motors. Nissan, super nice logo. I love this new logo. And X-Trail, so you know which car it is. Lovely look uh, from the back end of the car. Here is a tank, 55 liter tank. And I like the fact that it has this easy fuel. That means you just come here, you put it in, you press on the pump and then you uh, have the gas inside. This is a great, great feature. And I like it also Ford use it on the new car. Now 19 inch uh, rims. Those come standard on Tecna Plus and I think they are more than perfect for the car and I think they fit really well with the chrome design around the car. Ventilated brake this on the, on the back here and also ventilated brake this on the front so the car comes also with great, great brake discs. E-Power on the side so you know, on the both sides so you know which version it is and also I like the fact that Nissan you can see they add here Nissan Intelligent Mobility X-Trail. They add it here, this writing on the, on the light. So in general, this is all with the exterior of the car. That was my impression. Now uh, you can comment down below and tell me also your opinion about the exterior. Those are the handles. You see it before. They feel good quality and also in general, the sound of the doors have good quality and I like them. Now, let's go forward. I wanna show you the engine bay. Uh, outside, I wanna tell you something, guys. Outside, let me close the, the light. Outside are minus six degrees. So I try my best to do this review. My hands are frozen. So I hope this video will be useful for you and you can get some useful information from it. Now, I wish that was automatically right now, but it's a manual lift gate in the front here on the engine bay. But this is the engine. Here is the engine located, the 1.5 liter petrol engine, e-power, Nissan e-power. You can see it right there. Uh, also the electric motor, it's somewhere under the, the petrol engine. But here is the engine. Here are the fuse box on the right side, the air filter here. Then we have the liquid cooling liquid for the wipers down here, liquid cooling on the left side. And in general, this is the way it looks in the front here. So yeah, 
this is the button here automatic lift gate of course super nice included in this price we have a lot of technology and you will see now start now inside the car will start the wow uh, you will see how many cool features it has here is the button to close it and to lock it you have also a handle to close it manually if you want to huge entrance i mean the entrance in the car here it's it's quite big you can fit in here a lot of stuff without any problem and in my opinion it's, it's mega mega practical and if the the entrance was not enough that it's big uh, another cool thing is the fact that you have a flat entrance here also you have some extra uh, bumper here plastic uh, but also you have some plastic at entrance flat floor completely flat floor for me this is mega practical and very very useful in many situation we have hooks in every corner here every corner hooks you have a light normal halogen light but also storage space in the both parts behind here guys you have also a space where you can put your fire instinctor i think they call it or you can put wherever you want to put here also this one i will close it ah i did it with one hand wow i'm really good then another cool part is the fact that come with a uh, 12 volt port so you have it here in the trunk this is great uh, i like that now under here you have those protections you can put some kind of things here you have like five centimeter protection but you can also take those things out like that and you and you have some extra maybe five ten centimeters but under this one here you have also some uh, space like a 12 volt battery and also repair kit and here is the Bose sound system for the speakers and also yeah some repair kit in the back there so overall this is the space down here on the five seat uh, e-power version uh, i'm not sure how is on the e-force version i'm not sure how is the simple one with the e-power front wheel drive but i will review that as well if you're interested write me down below now another great thing guys that i want to show you and i want to tell you is the fact that the car come with this white interior on the roof everywhere it's white and it looks just fabulous i like this white make the car look much more brighter inside and you will see when you go later and also i like very much that they make this white it's something different it's something special and i love that look at this one more time without that protection look how much space you have here huge huge space you can fit in here huge items without any problem and this is great now another great thing is the fact that you can fold the down part but but i wish i wish nissan to add maybe in the next version some kind of handles where you can fold down the seats from here so you don't have to always go on the side so because i have to go on the side and you have to open the doors it's not something important i mean for me it doesn't matter but for some people i think this will be much more practical and with one hand look at this with one hand it's kind of complicated let me put down the camera for a while let me show you and then you fold this down and you have a long uh, part there where you can carry skis or long items and it's very practical and i like that this is this is a good uh, feature on the car and you can see but i will show you later anyway when we go there now i like another thing is the fact that you can adjust the seats how you want it you see but this function i'll show you also later when you go inside the car i want to go on the other side to fold down the seats you see i need a little bit of time i can do that from here but with the camera it's kind of complicated but some people can do that from here they don't have to go on the side but i would have to go because it's so long and i'm not so big in hands i have to go here on the side also i kind of forget to adjust the seats in my driving position and we will need that later when i have to show you how much space you have so electric adjustable seats but about that we will talk later so now this is my driving now even further yeah let, let, let me leave it like that now this is my driving position i want to make it as realistic as possible for you to understand better the the distances now i fold down the seats and look at this look at the trunk look at the entrance look how much space you have you have a flat floor completely flat floor you can even sleep here it's it's huge it's it's big i tell you it's really really big i don't know if you can understand the distances on the camera but in terms of space it's lovely 
really 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 spacious i love it i mean from my point of view it's it's more than perfect you don't need more space than that you can carry long items without any problem like washing machines fridge even mobile part you can go to ikea or buy different stuff and if that was not enough that it's practical look at this how many cars can open the door 90 degrees fabulous and look at the entrance it's like a limousine huge entrance here and you have a big big entrance so look at the space one more time from this angle incredible space really really practical so in terms of practicality nissan you really did a great job so great job guys now down here on the legs room plenty of space the transmission tunnel is relatively small so overall super practical I love what they did with uh, the practicality of this X-Trail. Anyway, let me put everything back and then we will go inside the car. All right, great. I just put everything inside. Now let's go and talk a little bit about the door. My hands are quite frozen right now. I can't wait to go inside the car. Here we have a big window from one pieces and also you have this privacy protection i like that very much and also i find it super super cool and fancy and also you have another uh, window here i will show you a little bit later but on the upper side here you have kind of a brown color brown dark color in this area but in the back it's plastic here in the front is the same but it's leather so if you don't touch it you don't know what it is first of all i was I really need to touch those things to see what they are because they look quite good quality and now if you go a little bit downer here you have leather white stitches you have the handle in chrome uh, then you have also the button for the windows and also this nice design here leather um, you can see the stitches soft soft material and very good quality there on the down part you have some plastic you have some storage space here relatively good and then you have the speaker both sound system entering in the car as you see before it's huge and also down here you have some plastic at the entrance but the entrance it's relatively huge you have plenty of space here i mean no matter how big you are you will have space here for sure and the great part is that you can also adjust those seats in every position you want so you can put it straight away or you can put it all the way on the back so you can see the differences here between them and you can also pull it and push it and you have it all the way on the back now the seats they come on this Tecna Plus leather seats lovely quality and also they feel like like they will last uh, for for many years and also they are quite nice and comfortable i sit on them before and i like them very much isofix for child you can install two child seats here in the back and also you have this uh, armrest that you see it before that uh, it was super hard to pull it i need two hands here so you have to pull it and push it down and here you have two cup holders and also some storage space but yeah relatively very good quality now another cool and impressive thing that i was like wow it's are the seats i mean you can adjust it from down here forward and backward depend how you want it so let me put it let me put you there to show you look at this man i mean you can adjust it i understand but look how much you can adjust it it's like 20 centimeters the difference is there look how much space you have left in the back there it's like you're having a seven seater and look how much space you save there in the back it's incredible i mean it's it's really really impressive yeah again great job another practical plus for the car and it's quite hard to do that alone but yeah behind the front seat leather storage space here um, quite good i like the fact that you don't have any plastic here transmission tunnel relatively small maybe seven centimeters but let me go inside the car i can't wait for this moment oh yeah i'm here now here in the middle you have two vents quite nice and also you have here heated uh, seats in the back for you and the passenger you have an usb-c and a usb-2 and also the possibility to adjust the climatic system from here and if you go in the front this is the start engine button windows are locked yes right now it should work look at this 
you can fold the window until here i just want to show you this information because many people ask me about that uh, this is it as you see here small transmission tunnel usb heated seat in the back and also the climatic system from here you have free zone climatic system now i want to go behind myself because i want to be as realistic as possible and i want to show you the space here the seat in the front it's adjusted kind of in my driving position a little bit more in the back uh, and i'm 173 centimeters and you can see how much space i have here more than enough uh, on my knees and also I can kind of stretch my legs in the front there so for me personally I have a lot of space also on the head lot of space over my head um, I have also this handle hook also a light here it's a normal halogen yellow light and the roof it's gorgeous this white roof it's really nice also you have this lovely uh, glass roof and it looks quite nice and it comes also on this Tecna Plus version. The visibility outside, it's great. Nothing to complain about the visibility. It's, it's just perfect. Also in the back there, you have a small window. So in general, very, very good visibility and very good position of staying in the back here. You can go in the middle super easy. And also you can stay with your legs kind of together because you have plenty of space in the front here. And also the transmission tunnel is relatively small. A lot of space on, on, the, on the knees here huge space on the knees i should say and also on my head here also relatively good space stretch my hand left stretch my hand right uh perfect perfect uh position here now guys let's go in the front and let's talk about the multimedia and uh, the stuff there in the front door in the front have much better quality than on the rear but let's start with the window we have a big window from one piece that's really good because we have great visibility from the interior and also huge mirrors perfect visibility i should say this brown color here it's leather this time it's a soft material at least i think it's leather i'm not sure about that but it looks like leather and it, it quite feels like leather with my eye i mean with my eyes hands i can feel like like leather but here it's for sure leather with stitches and also in this area leather here leather here uh, we have this chrome insertion the handles feel good quality you have two position to set uh, the electric seat so you can save it from here uh, also very soft and very nice in this area for your hand and also you have this nice design here where the buttons are integrated with a little bit of chrome so the buttons feel good as you touch it electric adjustable mirrors and also lock and unlock button fold the mirrors electrically as well some storage space here here on the storage space i think in my opinion they can make it even a little bit bigger but it's okay here are the Bose sound systems and this is the entrance, big entrance in the front as well. You can see also from this angle a little bit better. The leather seats, lovely seats. I tell you, super comfortable seats, super good quality. And also you can see the glass roof from this angle one more time and also the seats. Now guys, I want to talk a little bit about those seats because in my opinion, they are one of, one of the best thing in the car a, a great plus uh, because they are super super comfortable i sit on them they are heated they have this side support you feel wonderful while you're driving and also i don't know inside those triangles here they put some foam and they feel so crazy crazy good i mean super comfortable you can adjust the seats electrically from here in every position you want very simple just like that also the car come with normal pedals so no aluminum pedals or stuff like that then i like another thing you can see there is the center console and under the center console you have an extra space where you can put different different things also you can see it's writing there nissan 1933 yokohama it's quite nice signature but a lot of a lot of uh, things you can put here and it's a very practical thing and for me this is a big plus uh, on the car now here you have the brightness of the screen from here you can change the brightness of the screen you can open the trunk from here from this steering wheel you can activate turn on and off this steering assist and also another cool thing that i love is the fact that you can turn on and off the head-up display it's so easy you just press it one button in other cars you have to go in the multimedia and then you go in settings and oh it's super complicated here you want to turn it on and off you just press one button look at this how easy is that the head-up display we will talk in a second about it but look how simple it is to turn it on and off it's just super good now 
in terms of vents they feel good they feel good quality and also they are nice designed with some chrome some glossy plastic some leather here on the dashboard soft material everywhere and i was wrong this is not leather it's kind of a rubber silicon uh, and also this one here on the front door as well and also we have the same one on the dashboard and it's continuing on the on the upper side anyway let me go inside the car oh finally we stay in heat guys outside it's mega cold minus five degrees it's crazy cold <laughs> anyway visibility around the windows as i said earlier because you have this big window here you have incredible good visibility and also in the mirrors uh, also around the windows you can see the windscreen it's quite long and i like the fact that uh, that make it much more visible outside and also around the windows in the back there you have 360 degrees camera anyway but the visibility it's quite good you can see one more time the seats in the back here in the middle you have this center armrest center console uh, that it's lovely i mean you have leather stitches very good quality also on the armrest you can open this up just like that very simple and you have a lot of space here to put different uh, items now if i go forward you can see that you have the same nice designed plastic here in the middle that is not uh, like a glossy so it doesn't leave any uh, fingerprint here no matter how you play with your fingers doesn't leave fingerprints on it and it it's kind of a nice combination so you have a kind of a half it's glossy half it's matte but it doesn't leave fingerprints so you have kind of a um, advantage here anyway from here you change different driving modes it's very simple to change it and you have quite a few driving modes and in the middle you have the button for the downhill assist when you go downhill you can activate and deactivate it from here but in general you have uh, a few driving modes like the first one it's let me go to off-road off-road you have snow mode standard echo and sport i drive in all these mode in test drive video if you want to see it check it out probably it's already on the channel the video with the test drive if not will come soon auto hold electronic handbrake very useful two big cup holders and then one of my favorite part in this car and not only in this one but the new nissans that come with automatic transmission come with this shift by wire transmission it's lovely it's small it's cute you just press this button and you go in reverse for example if you go in reverse you go up like that and you can see this 360 degrees camera that i will show you earlier also it comes with active line assist and while you're driving it's fabulous i mean uh, you have to see the test drive video there you can see more how it works but it's it's lovely also you have the d and b mode the d mode is driving normal and b mode it's kind of a more regenerative brake when you accelerate and you take off the foot of the acceleration it's act like an electric car like when it's regenerate more energy so uh, this is and then the parking button is where the car is parking up here you have auto park so if you press this button the car will search for you for parking places around here and then you just press start and the car will do that for you will park the car for you but i think you have to use the pedals and then you just press finish and then the car is finished park and yeah stuff like that so it's it's very cool it has you have this system it's it's really a, a great bless i should say then you have the e-pedal e-pedal it's act like it act on the electric cars that mean you use e-pedal when you drive it's like accelerate and then when you take the foot after acceleration the car will regenerate more energy but it will not go to a stop you have to use the brake in the end to stop the car completely so that's something to keep in mind also check out in the test drive video i show you more there uh, in that video in the separate video ev mode mean that when the car for example right now it has enough battery in the middle it will work only in the ev mode and when the battery is almost empty then it will start again uh, the petrol generator i should say motor uh, but here uh, you have the climatic system on the heated system on so you can see it's work only with the battery for the moment so great system i love what nissan did with this system it's one of my favorite system now here you have wireless charging for your phone uh, with some led lights insertion start stop engine button usb c usb 2 12 volt port right here super useful all those things here are mega mega practical and then up here we have kind of a wood fake insertion here in the in the uh, in the center console plenty of space 
in the glow box as well to put your different things leather here and up here soft material with this brown color and then you have Bose sound system uh, speakers on the A-pillar on the boat A-pillar you have this Bose a nice logo there so overall the dashboard and the visibility from here it's perfect I mean for me the dashboard design it's lovely very very modern very nice and everything it's in the in the perfect place for example the vents here the button for the the hazard lights uh, you have also uh, the climatic system here with heating seats free position we have heated steering wheel down here we have heated windshield by the way the car come with the windshield heated in the winter like now it's it's super practical you press that button one minute is defrosted so i love that i wish i had it on my car and then very simple physical button on the mm, climatic system so this is awesome i mean while you're driving you can use those buttons press it it's super super simple so no complaining about you have to go in the multimedia and blah 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 so great job nissan i like it now guys uh, before to go to the multimedia i want to talk a little bit about the head-up display in my opinion head-up display it's one of the best head-up display that you can have it on the market today no joke guys it's really good the brightness the resolution the way it stays on the co on the on the window there is just perfect i mean you see it's so clear you can see also in the test drive video uh, how many information it gives you and so how clear it is and I love the head-up display so again another great great plus for the car uh, going to the uh, steering wheel you can adjust it from here up down forward backward just like that super simple you can close it like that and the steering wheel it's incredible nice i love this thing from nissan and i like the the shape of it i think it's perfect i like the shape here that they leave a little bit more hole so you can have a great visibility in the cockpit i love it also the nissan logo look nice the chrome and the physical buttons here where you can change different information on the cockpit from here and also here you have the cruise control autopilot voice command telephone you can also change it very easy while you drive it's, it's so simple to change those functions and i start to like more and more nissan the more i drive nissan cars i start to like it more and more so yeah great job guys really good cars now let's go to the cockpit this is the new cockpit uh, on the Nissan and it's it's lovely I mean you have so many information in the front there it shows you this actually when you press the brake you can see even the brakes uh, light how they light on and also if I turn on the climatic system at maximum I turn on some functions here the petrol engine should kick in right now it's kicking in and you can see a nice graphic of what happened with the energy you can see right there um, very useful in my opinion it's, it's incredible incredible cool and useful while you drive to see what happened with the energy and then you will see also the blue when uh, the electric motors will work it's, it's lovely this view uh, also you can see the consumptions here also you can check out the test drive video to see what consumption i got on this car and you can see also the direction on the navigation by the way if you add a destination you can see also uh, the, 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 the full map there i don't know why now it's not come on show me show me the map or where is the map you can see also the map here are the settings i will go back to the setting in a second but yes here is the map look at this guys you can have even the map on the screen there it's 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 fabulous i mean I like very much the cockpit uh, it's much better than much more expensive cars to be honest and I was super impressed when I see that here is the consumption here are also some information on the home if you go to settings you can change a lot of settings driver assistance systems personal display um, you can see also head-up display echo settings tire pressure clock vehicle settings maintenance display settings guys so many so many so many uh settings that you can change from here and i was like impressed as this traction control driver assistance system like steering assist lane blind spot emergency brake traffic signs all that safety features you can activate and deactivate it from here uh it's super super easy chassis control even the chassis control um, you can change it from here personal display and uh, echo settings and all that stuff you can change them from here so yeah i'm in general so 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 uh, complex much more complex 
that you find in uh, in other cars. So I like that very much. This is a big plus for for the car in my in my view. Um, I like it very much. I like what Nissan did with this cockpit. I find it one of the best on the market these days and also bright, colorful, great resolution and it works really fast. Now, the, the other things here uh, on the roof, we have some handles, microphones. Up here you have a normal bulb light, a yellow light and also the, the, the mirror, it's quite nice. I like it. Up here, some glass support. I love that. Not many cars have glass support. I love to have a glass support in my car up here. Uh, yellow light again. And then you have also those buttons for the, um, for the curtain. You can close it electrically, just like that, on the roof there. But you can also open the roof. If you want to open it up, let me show you how cool it is. It goes inside, not outside. And this is the maximum position that you can open it up. It's cold outside, so I will definitely close it. But the other one will stay open completely. Come on, close, just like that. Perfect. Anyway, this is the mirror. By the way, the visibility in the back, it's relatively good. You can see from here, good visibility in the back, so no complaining. And the mirror, it's also nice. You can press this button to see in the nighttime or daytime. And the last piece of art that I will talk about is the multimedia system. That it's big, it's nice, you have a great visibility from the driver point of view. You have also some shortcut buttons here and the volume knob and the camera. You have this button to press the camera so you can see camera on the side, camera in the middle, camera in the back. And uh, you have some shortcut buttons here like home button and like navigation. It gets you directly to navigation or the media or the uh, Apple or if you have Android you have here the shortcut and down here you have also the application like weather, traffic information, GPS, like smartphone uh, and so on so on. Up here you have this settings icon I think you can see it up there let me actually help you a little bit now you can see better you go to the settings here and then you go in the main settings of the car like connection with your phone system updates clock menu navigation sound and tones system settings you can change the language from here uh, and the displays and also if you go forward you have the parking automatic the cameras the apps here all the apps that um, the car are connected with you have the weather if you have connectivity to the internet and if you go to the home this is the kind of the home screen where you have right now we have my phone connected my iphone connected i will show you in a second uh, fm you have here the navigation you have also the second page where you have different information like even the alex sites here and yeah the clock you can also add an extra widgets here for example you want to have an audio widgets you just add it on the third page here and you can also customize and play with it uh, with with those things so let's go back without saving and uh, by the way I'll have a separate video on how to connect um, this uh, Apple CarPlay here and it's very easy and I will show you in another video so more details about uh, Android you can see in other video but in general the navigation of the car and the screen it's much more responsive than it was before um, in a Nissan and Nissan did a big huge step forward uh, in terms of navigation in terms of uh, how fast is this multimedia system and I think you have all the details here it's very simple to reach out it's very simple to to add a new destination or to change different um, different things here in the multimedia system so in general um, they did a great job so guys um, i think i cover everything about the car i don't think i miss something from here you close the car and you have also a nice uh, sound when you close the car and also when you open the car i notice that you have quite if you close the door and go inside the car and if you start it you have a nice graphic yeah i think not always it appears just maybe sometimes anyway that was the video guys i hope you enjoyed it I hope you really enjoyed this review with Nissan X-Trail 2022 full option e-power e-force. It's just incredible. I mean, my rating for this car from 1 to 10, taking into consideration price, offer, practicality, and this incredible hybrid system that, in my opinion, is the best hybrid system 
And if I will have to choose today what kind of hybrid system I want to have on my car, I will definitely choose this one because you have an electric car, you drive 100% electric, but it's powered by a petrol engine. So today, if you're not sure if you want to make this step to electricity, to electric car, full electric car, this might be the next best option for you because you drive silent, smooth, electric, uh, practical, efficient, quite economic, and you have like a generator. And I think it's much more reliable than a normal classic hybrid system. And I will probably do in the future a more extended video about this hybrid system because I find it really interesting and I find it very smart. So my rating for the car from 1 to 10 will be 9.9. It's, it's, it's a really good car. I, I really like the system. Now, uh, to make a small, small review of the car, it's like that. I love the hybrid system. I love the comfort, the practicality, the comfort features like heated seat, heated steering wheel, the cockpit, the head-up display, it's incredible. The only things that I wish it was different was the lights outside, LED lights. But in, other than that, the car it's incredible and also the price it's really good uh, in comparison with other brands go and test it guys if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out auto house heart in langenthal i will leave the link in the description so you can check them out really good car really you have to see it and if you will buy this one you will be a happy owner anyway thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was useful for you if you want to see the test drive video with the same car uh, will come soon on the channel if it's not already on the channel click the subscribe button to see notification when that video will come out thank you very much for watching my videos i really appreciate that so again thank you guys stay safe don't forget to like share subscribe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys